welcome to Southampton. I am here for two nights in a hotel. It's a situation that I couldn't avoid, but am I sticking to my prep? Hell to the yes, you bet I am. Let me give you a little whirl around the hotel room. So it's very bog standard. I'm, I'm actually staying over in this hotel for um, a bit of like unfortunate circumstances, to be honest. I've had to come down south, family things. So I'm here because I have to be, but it doesn't mean I have to be off my prep. Um, yeah, my oats are casually lying on the table. I've got this bag full of all different um, foods that I need this weekend. And then luckily the hotel has a fridge. So all my prep meals are in there ready. So I can stick to my plan as much as humanly possible. Diet Cokes at the ready as well. Oh, sorry, no, Coke Zeros, I should say. Don't drink Diet Cokes on prep. Not a thing. Um, so yeah, and I have my YouTube at the ready because luckily my favourite YouTuber has just uploaded a video. Um, if you don't follow this guy and you're into bodybuilding, you need to because he is on the money and absolutely hilarious as well. Videos are very entertaining. Can't wait to watch this. 20 minutes. Gonna sort this Tupperware out, put it in that. And I've got some rice cakes and jam to have as well. It's gonna be an absolute baller. And after I've had those jam and rice cakes, I'm gonna pop to the hotel gym, which is open till nine. Can't train at the moment because this is still ruined. Went to see my sports masseuse yesterday and it was just like, nah, 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 you've pulled it, you've ruined it. And trust me, I have. I've been sat in the uh, car all day, like with my hand propped up, just so I don't, just so I'm not dragging down on my traps, like sat. Because obviously it's been a long ass drive from Leeds to Southampton today. So yeah, I've had to do that. Uh, but yeah, gonna hit the hotel gym after this meal and train abs because that's the only thing I can do. Rest day we train abs because I'm getting some abs on this um, prep, basically. And yeah, once that's done, I've got another meal later and I'm gonna watch Love Island at nine o'clock on ITV2 because we've got a big ass TV as well with TV channels on it that actually work. I've even brought my weighing scales, hell to the yes. Can I weigh out 50 grams of broccoli to have with my meal? I'm not gonna pretend the meal looks aesthetically pleasing. But it is what it is. This is the ultimate prep life setup. Treating myself to a Pepsi Max raspberry with my chicken and broccoli as I watch a bodybuilding YouTube channel. All right, I'm pretty damn sure I packed some gym wear in here. Yep, got some leggings. One sports bra, two sports bra. So I have a choice of sports bras to wear. At the end of the day, I'm only training abs though because that's all I can do tonight. Might do a bit of posing practice as well. There we go. Found myself a Jimmy looking outfit. And I'll be able to sort of like pose in this as well, I think. See what I'm see what I'm about. See what I'm doing. Let's go check out that gym. Alright guys, so this is what we're working with. It's actually pretty damn decent. There's plenty of equipment to go at. Like, you know, I could easily get a workout in here. There's like your low row, your leg press over there, leg curl extension. Um, sorry. And there's a lap pull down. There's plenty of like stability balls. There's even an ab crunch over there. That's me. Ooh, in the mirror over there. And then, yeah, you've got like your foam rollers and bits of kit here, slam balls, etc. Bosu balls. Another one over there. So yeah, I could easily train here this weekend. It's even a rack. Even a rack. But yeah, just abs and posing it is tonight because that is all I'm allowed to do at the moment. I'm on unplanned rest days, which sucks. But I'm two sets in, one more to go. Time in the gym done. Could be looking worse considering all the eating I've been doing in June. But yeah, just over 10 weeks out now. Time to leave this gym, head back to some more rice cakes and jam before my final meal. Okay, so we're back at the gaff. I'm ready to have my rice cakes, jams in the fridge that I've prepped. Gonna get back on the old YouTube. Instead of bringing a whole heavy jar of jam down with me, I've prepped out my exact quantities in this Tupperware. At the end of the day, 20 grams of jam on two rice cakes is pretty nice and hefty. Yeah. Back to the tube.
Okay, 100 grams of berries weighed out. Got the 200 grams of skier to go in. And some whey and some peanut butter as well. The peanut butter is all measured out in here. So I'm really prepped. I'm so proud of myself. There we go, 200 grams. I've got my Lebkuchen whey, which is German gingerbread. And the PB's gonna go down. I'm gonna enjoy this meal now and chill out for the evening in the hotel. Perfect setup right now. Watching Love Island kick off with my last meal of the day. Okay, good morning. Friday the 5th of July. This is the first time I've tried just doing oats with boiled water from the kettle. Hotel room vibes. And yep, yeah, it's worked. Got my oats ready, just need to add some whey, dark chocolate and berries. That's it, hotel room coffee. And we've got more of this M&S Swiss dark chocolate. Time to let it melt in and enjoy YouTube in the hotel again. Morning setup. Okay guys, it's now Sunday the 7th of July. Took a couple of days away. Obviously I stopped filming after that morning breakfast. At the moment, I'm thinking my, we're not sure still about the shoulder, it's a lot better than it was when I went away. We're thinking potentially it's in the neck area, that's definitely what's still really tight. I've got a sports massage booked on Tuesday, but at the moment, not sure about doing the show that I originally planned to do. I'm just not feeling confident that I would be ready in 10 weeks time to step on stage and compete in a category with girls who have such trained and like large upper bodies. And that's where I was lacking on my last show in terms of they said my shoulders needed to be rounder and my lats needed to be wider and the fact that I can't really train them at the moment is causing a little bit of concern obviously. I'm going to keep smashing my legs as much as possible. So I've, I've trained legs before I went away to Southampton and then I'm going to train them again today. Again I'm not going to be able to do any kind of heavy neck loaded exercises so no barbell squats nothing like that. I'm going to have to again adapt my sessions. But that's absolutely fine, I had great doms from my leg session the other day, you can still train, you can still do things. I am still sticking to my prep plan and just, we're on training day calories, so I'm not training, but on the days, on the rest days I'm having training day calories just for recovery purposes. So we're just going to sort of see how it goes at the moment. And if I at least stick to my prep plan, then I've got a shot. So if we decide that my uh, things aren't going to get better in this area, and I've then just been eating what I wanted and not um, prepping, uh, then I'll just have ruined it for myself. So I'm at least sticking to my prep plan for now, so that will I then be able to train up a body and catch up a little bit? I've at least come in a little bit. I've lost a kilo over the weekend just from sticking to my diet and doing training day calories. But I hope this video at least helped you and showed you that you know if you do have that goal, if you are going to prep, if there is no balance, you are you will take those sacrifices. Prep is really about making sacrifices that you are willing and happy to make. It shouldn't be a torture. I enjoyed having to make those sacrifices this weekend. It feels a bit funny. Some of the lengths you have to go to to make sure you stick to your plan is can be quite amusing when you do go away and those little curveballs come into the uh, process. But if you do have that goal, you will do anything to make it work. And that is it. That is what prep's about at the end of the day. So I hope you did sort of learn a little bit of something about maybe if you are going away on prep, it can still work, you can still have a laugh. You might just have to alter things a little bit and not do things as you usually would, like going out for meals and things. If if it was someone's birthday or a special like, event, I would go and I would then bring that up away and just politely ask at the restaurant. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks for supporting my channel. Obviously, you can support it further by giving the video a like. You can subscribe if you haven't already and you're just watching this. Damn you, I hate you people. <laughs> I'm only joking, but seriously, if you just watch it, that's great. But subscribing would help me massively, so feel free. See you in the next one, guys. Onwards and upwards. Ciao for now.